Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to set your margins before you start typing a manuscript. I'm going to go through all the three layouts of the manuscript, the unbound, the left bound and the top bound margin for manuscripts. I said to you in one of my other videos when we looked at this topic that all you need to know when it comes to the margins for the style of manuscript that you're doing is the unbound margin. Once you know the unbound margin, all you need to do for the other two layouts is basically to add 0.5 to the top or to the side, the left side of the manuscript or to the margin. All right, so let's get into it. So here I have the unbound manuscript information in front of me for page one and when i go down i have the information for the margin for page two so that you can get a visual representation of what it is that i'm doing so the first thing as you open up microsoft word for me i select no spacing the next thing i would have selected times new woman font size 12 but it's on 22 so that it can be large for you to view the screen but how do I go about setting my margins? I go on my ribbon to page layout. I go to margins and I select custom margins. When I do that, the page setup dialog box opens. Then I proceed to set in my margins. Looking at what I have here for page one, left will be one inch, right one inch, bottom one and the top will be 1.5. Okay, good. Next thing which is most important is I go to the bottom aspect or the bottom part of this box and I select apply to whole document. That would have been selected there automatically. All right. So whole document must be selected and I press OK. So the margin is now set for my page one. I'm going to go down on my page two and the cursor must be at the first part of page two. As it hits the page, that's where you, you, you start from. So now I'm on my page two. I am going to go back on my ribbon and I'm going to go to margins, custom margins, and I'm going to make the adjustment based on the information here. So everything would be the same except left will now be at 1. So top will be 1, one bottom 1, left and right 1. All right, then this part is very important. They apply it to section. So before we applied it to the entire document, but once you're on your page two, you will change that and select this point forward. And press OK. Okay, so now my margin is set for my page two. If you look in the margins, you see left one, right one. The top is also one. And if I should scroll to the bottom of the screen, the bottom margin says one. All right, so let us look at the top bound manuscript. So I'm going to go to my ribbon margins custom margin and i'm going to make the adjustment so it is top two and i do not have to be doing this i could just click backspace and put in information apply to whole document okay all right and you see the two over to the left there all right, so that signifies here, that's the top margin. All right, I'm going to go down to my page two. Remember I said the cursor should, as it hits the page. All right, so I go back to it. As it hits the page, the problem now is that this information may go. All right, let me fix it. Okay, go. So margins, custom margin, and the top should now be 1.5. And then I go to apply to this point forward. OK. 
Okay. Let us look at that. There you have it. All right. Next, we go to the left bound manuscript. Custom margins, make my adjustments. So left top will be 1.5. All right, left will also be 1.5. And the bottom and the right will be 1. Apply to whole document. Okay. All right. So you see that coming a bit a while ago. All right, so that is 1.5 on the left. To the right, it is 1. Top, 1.5. I go down to my page 2. As I said, as the cursor hits the page, and I do the same thing and adjust my margins accordingly. So left will be 1.5 and top will now be 1. Apply to this point forward. Okay. And there you have it, guys. How to set your margin to suit the layout or the style of manuscript that you're typing, whether it is unbound, top bound, or left bound. All right, and this is very important, and this has to be done once you open Microsoft Word. Before you start your typing, you're given a question before you start your typing or anything. There are some customary things that you must do as you open Microsoft Word. Select no space in, times new Roman font size 12, set your margin to suit the layout that you are typing. And all of that before you start your typing. Alright, so I do hope that this video assisted greatly. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Please comment below. If it is that you have any topic that you like me to go through for you as it relates to the subject area, maybe you are there and I'm not there as yet and you would like me to do a video on that, you can also comment below as it relates to that. Alright, please share this video with other persons because everyone needs to know how to set their margin before they start to type. Right? And most importantly, please subscribe to the channel and please help me to get my word out there to others as I seek each week to make EDPM simple. Thanks for watching and see you all in my next upload.